which means our 99% confidence interval is 47% plus or minus 7%. Now, when you say that, it has a meaning. It has a meaning. What is the meaning of 47% plus or minus 7%? You probably can answer this based on the amount of harping I gave you guys in 243. Give it a shot. What does the plus or minus 7% take care of for us? Remember what Alan said earlier as a hint. So Nick, what you're saying is, I don't like saying it like this. Let's subtract and add the 7% to it, and call 7% from the 47 gives us what, 40%? Up to 54%? What does that mean? Thank you, sir. Carly? Does that have something to do with like, over time? Oh, good, good, good. Go further with that. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, no, no, no. Help her out, help her out. That was fantastic. Help her out. Who wants to kick into that? I love that. Thank you. 99% of the time will be oh, I want to twist that into a tiny little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Because we haven't brought the 99% in yet, have we? We haven't mentioned the 99%. Why did Carly pick 99%? Because right, that was pretty good, yes? So what does the 99% have to do? Time out. Before I answer that question, I want to make sure we fully answer this question. I'm going to draw this on a number line real quick. Okay? Just because I think it'll, it'll show up better that way. You know what you just did? Fantastic! I want you guys to always do that with confidence intervals because then you truly see what's going on. So if you draw this on a number line, good, thank you. I'm gonna put 0.5 in the middle, because that's the number that started this whole freaking mess in the first place. The, the five, 50 percent of the of the coins, yes? I should probably put some other reference points on, yes. We'll call this 30 percent, we'll call this 70 percent. Okay. Where does this live? Well, 40% is right about there. And 54%, well, there's 60, here's 55, it's going to be right about here, yes? That's what a graphic, a geometric graphic of 40 to 54% would be. That would be your 99% confidence interval for the percentage of heads on a coin spin. Now what I want to do before we go any further, because I want you to take your five right now, let this process as you walk around and get some fresh air. What you would say is 99% of the time, or excuse me, let's, let's take a step back. I am 99% confident that the percentage of heads is at least 40% and at most 54. So that's how you would verbally say it, correctly, statistically, verbally. I'm 99% confident that the percentage of heads is at least 40%, most 54%. The question then becomes, let's come back to this after the break, let's take five, is what does it mean to be 99% confident versus 95% confident versus 90 versus 99.99 and so forth and so on. So take five. Think about that. What does it mean when I say I'm 99% confident? Let's come back and talk about that, okay? Take five. Take five. Flush the air out of this room. Feels like it's getting cooler here. That might be a good thing. <laughs> 